Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels, or if you're watching my lifestyle channel, hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Hi, how are you all doing? I hope everybody's as well as possible. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe and a big thumbs up and thank you for doing so. Also, don't forget to um, subscribe to my uh, YouTube YouTube lifestyle channel if you haven't already done so and a big thank you uh, for that um, today I'm going to be doing Travel News UK 5 exciting facts October 2024 part 1 so uh, let's jump right into it and um, if you want to know about more of the travel news uk five exciting facts please keep watching i'm very excited to learn about um the five fabulous facts so i'm going to uh, kick off with uh, number one uh, which is uh, from the daily express britain's warned of christmas uh, travel chaos um, as london's uh, busy station closes for works it's having work done to it uh, so network rail um, have confirmed uh, from the 25th to of december to the 2nd of january london liverpool at uh, street will be closed uh, for improvement works greater angular trains including stansted express uh, will be all diverted to at Stratford station during the closure so if you're looking to travel on angular trains or Stansted Express it will be diverted to Stratford station during the closure while London overground service will also see significant changes so again um, if you are tra uh, travelling um from or to london by train um especially during the christmas period a uh, check that it's um running um um that's all i can uh, all i can say um so um it looks like um london liverpool street is only really closed for a week at uh, the 25th of december to the 2nd of january but um at least there's going to be improvements there um for when it reopens say on the 3rd of january so i hope people enjoy the changes number two picturesque and um charming seaside town named the most in um and varied in the uk um it's actually beating bath um even though bath is um not a, se a seaside a town um but it is this town is a seaside town is beating ba at bath um it's called da 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 St Ives, Cornwall. This is a picturesque seaside town topped with a list um, of its stunning beaches, vibrant art scene and charming fishing harbour. So if you're lo uh, loving stunning beaches and the art scene and the charming fishing har harbour then St Ives could be a great place uh, for you to visit and um, home to uh, the Tate since home to the Tate St Ives gallery and numerous art galleries uh, St Ives offers a perfect blend of natural beauty and cultural richness also if you're looking for natural beauty and cult uh, cultural richness then St Ives again could be a good uh, town uh, for uh, you to visit and number three um, Norfolk 
news Simon Calder to speak out at North Norfolk Tourism Conference so I hope that goes as well as possible for North Norfolk Tourism Conference and Simon Calder and at uh, number four Grimsby Live at Brig Business scoops the pre prestigious award for the best travel agent in the UK and Ireland so well done to Brig Business um, for scooping the best travel agent in the UK and Ireland number five West Somerset at Free Press a boost for active travel in Exmoor National Park. The new government fundings um, is secured by Exmoor, Exmoor National Park will boost active travel routes across the landscape. So expect to find uh, more walking and cycling routes. So again, if you love uh, love walking and cycling, then again, Exmoor Na uh, National Park um, could be a good place um, if you enjoy walking and uh, cycling amongst um, other activities. So I would like to say thank you for watching and I'll see you um with uh, travel news uh, worldwide 10 exciting facts uh, October 2024 part 2 um, on Monday so I would like to say thank you for watching and bye for now thank you bye